Hello. Google Cloud provides many useful resources for computing, storage, big data, artificial intelligence, and much more. Today, I'm going to talk about storage services. If you are learning Google Cloud or preparing for Google Cloud Data Engineering Certification exam, I hope this video will be beneficial for you. I will introduce the algorithm which would help you to decide which Google Cloud storage the service to choose based on your project or business requirements. Follow the questions and think if which option is fit to you. For each service, I provided a short tips about what is the purpose of specific service, how it's working and when to use. So let's get started. So ask yourself firstly, is your data structured? And there could be two options, no or yes. If you choose no, there's additional question. Do you need mobile SDK? And there are additional two options, no or yes. If you choose no, then Google Cloud Storage is the best choice. If you choose yes, then Google Cloud for Firebase, it is the better choice. What about Google Cloud Storage? It is dedicated for storing objects or blobs like files such as image. It can store petabytes of data. A similar service in AWS would be S3 buckets. It is the cheapest storage solution on GCP to cost ratio out of all storage solutions out there. You can serve a stay static website from cloud storage bucket. You can switch an object versioning. And what does this mean? When you upload the same file or object to the bucket, it will keep both files as different version and you have the ability to switch the version to the older version. You can set life cycle policies. Define policies that perform an action to an object based on conditions such as time or versioning. If you answer yes, so the Google Cloud Storage for Firebase is a better option. It is dedicated to file uploads and downloads for your Firebase apps regardless of network quality. You can use SDK to store image, audio or video or other user generated content. On the server you can use Google Cloud Storage to access the same files. It is integrated with Firebase authentication to provide simple and intuitive authentication for developers. Use your declarative security model to allow access based on file name, size, content type and other metadata. Built on exabyte scale when your apps goes viral. Effortlessly grow from prototype to production using the same infrastructure that powers Spotify and Google Photos. It is also scalable and flexible database for mobile, web and server de development. So come back to the question, is your data structured? And if you answer yes, so the next question is, is your workload is analytics? And there could be additional two options, no or yes. So if you choose yes, there could be additional question. Do you need updates on low latency? And there could be additional two options, no or yes. And for no, Google BigQuery is the best choice. And if you tell yourself yes, Google Cloud Bigtable is the better option. And what is a Google Cloud BigQuery? And this service automatically backed up and replicated and massively scalable to petabytes of data. It is very powerful for analytics using standard SQL language for interacting with BigQuery tables. Good for analyze and store the data used in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Data warehouse as such, it is considered on all app database. So BigQuery is not a transactional database and should not be used in application that requires a high throughput in terms of read and write operation. And if you answer yes, so the Google Cloud Bigtable is a better option. And what is a Google Cloud Bigtable? It is a service with low latency managed NoSQL database that can scale to hundreds of petabytes, can handle millions of operations per second. So it's storing time series data, stores data as unstructured columns in rows. Each row has a row key, two ways to retrieve data from Cloud Bigtable. The first one, single row by specifying the row key, and second one is multiple rows by specifying the range of row keys. It is ideal solution for querying time series data since you want for a given time range. 
it is strongly consistent in one region, but if you want replication to another, it becomes eventually consistent. For protection setup, it's always good to have a failover Bigtable cluster in another region. When requests are failing in one region, it can be sent to another region for processing. So come back to the question, is your workload is analytic? And if you answer no, so ask yourself again, is your data is relational? And there could be additional two options, no or yes. If you choose no, so ask yourself, do you need mobile SDK? And there could be additional two options, no or yes. So if you don't need mobile SDK, the Google Cloud Data Store is the best choice. And if you need mobile SDK for your relational data, Cloud Firestore for Firebase is a better choice. And what is a Google Cloud Data Store? It is a highly scalable NoSQL database for your web and mobile application like MongoDB or DynamoDB in AWS. It supports SQL like queries and indexes. It is eventually consistent, so use it as transactional database only if having eventual consistently is good for your requirements. Indexes help with returning queries faster when application query the database. Indexes for simple queries are created automatically, such as querying over a single property. Complex queries must be defined in configuration file called index.eaml. To update the index data store, use the data store index create command. Just look at your local index.eaml file and if the index configurations are different from the protection data store, data store will create the new indexes. So if you need mobile SDK for your relational data and if your data is analytic, so Cloud Firestore for Firebase is the better option. And it is a service uh, that uh, is very flexible, scalable database for mobile, web and server development. Keeps your data in a synchronical way across client apps through real-time listeners and offer offline support for mobile and web so you can build a responsive app that works regardless of network latency. Supports flexible hierarchical data structures, store your data in documents, organize in collections. It is used ways to retrieve individual specific documents or to retrieve all the documents matching your query parameters. It is used as data synchronization to update data on any connected device. It is caches data that your app is actively using, so the app can write, read, listen to and query data even if the device is offline. So come back to the question, is your data is relational? So if your data is relational, so you need to decide, do you need horizontal scalability? So, and there could be two options. If no, then Cloud SQL is the best choice. And if you need horizontal scalability, so Google Cloud Spanner is the best option. So, and what is a Cloud SQL? It is when instances are not managed service in the sense that it is not automatically replicated, auto-scaled and highly available. Cloud SQL instances can be created much like a virtual machine and compute engine. Cloud SQL is a relational database using a MySQL or PostSQL. It is not scale up to big data. It does not support Microsoft SQL servers. It is a good solution for migrating existing SQL servers to GCP. Cloud SQL is this transactional database has strongly consistency and great as transactional database. Then, if you need horizontal scalability, so Google Cloud Spanner is the best choice. And what is a Google Cloud Spanner? It is a relational database that is horizontally scalable. It is a low latency and fully managed, which means it is highly available and auto-scaling. It is, has strong transactional consistency. The most expensive storage solution in GCP is Google Cloud Spanner. Use it when you really, really need to use it. So, as I mentioned at the, at the beginning of this video, I will provide some hints before taking Google Cloud Data Engineering exam for certification. And the first one hint is, when the exam mentioned time series data, think about Bigtable. The second one, when the exam mentioned analytical workloads or future for analytics, think about BigQuery. For a transactional database, think about Cloud SQL or Cloud Spanner. And you should know that BigQuery is not a transactional database. For massive scale over terabytes of data, think about BigQuery 
or Bigtable or Cloud Spanner. For thread port our of existing SQL database from on-prem Think Cloud SQL. So that's all for this video. And today I talked about cool cloud storage services, uh, when to use it in different situations and what is what, and I provided some hints about taking a good cloud certification. I hope this video was useful for you. I mentioned it only the basic, only the most important things in my opinion. And you can find additional resource on official websites. And I wish you good luck and never stop learning. Bye bye.